If you are among the families searching for a rental right now in the metro, you know the frustration. We've got your back with a look at the extremely competitive rental market and who is benefiting from the crunch. We've heard the news lately. It is a seller's market with very few homes for sale, but it seems there's virtually nothing to rent either. It has nothing to do with income either or credit scores. People with 750 to 800 credit scores are getting rejected. Realtor Lauren Gould has clients now with nowhere to move after selling their homes so quickly. I just did a search on Zillow of all homes with three bedrooms and up in Oklahoma County. You can see there's about 220 of them available right now, but many of them were listed in just the last day and they'll be scooped up before many families have a chance to even see them. How quickly are they going? Within a matter of a day. I mean, people will boom, 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 apply and it's gone. Gould says renters willing to sign a longer term lease and don't have pets have the best shot. Like home prices, rents are soaring and the shorter the rental term, the more you can expect to pay. Have you ever seen anything like this in your career? I have never seen anything like this. And it's not just here in Oklahoma, it is a nationwide crisis. A crisis that management companies and investors are cashing in on. You can see construction underway on new apartments all across the metro. Nearly 42% of families in Oklahoma County are renters, paying an average monthly rent of $890. A figure that's now rising fast and leaving many Oklahomans with few options. I don't even know what people who have bad credit or lower income, people who've lost their jobs due to COVID. Um, I don't know what they're doing. As for Ghoul's clients, even with a professional's help and spending hundreds on rental application fees, they're striking out. We can't find anything. It's, it's crazy. She texted me today and she said, I guess I'm just gonna live with my parents. If you are a homeowner, Ghoul says now really is the best time to sell to get top dollar, especially before home inventory picks back up as expected in the summer. But remember, you're going to want to make sure you have a place to move to after your home is sold. Also a great time to buy an investment property to rent out. That is, of course, if you can snatch one up.